Welcome to DCA TV. I am Jennifer Erickson, your host for today's show. Today we will speak with Dr. Robert Smith, chiropractor at Chiropractic Whole Health in Easton, Pennsylvania. Dr. Robert Smith goes beyond the basics of chiropractic treatment to address the whole body from head to feet, including exercise and nutritional needs in order to help patients live their best lives. In addition to being a chiropractor, Dr. Smith is also board certified in chiropractic rehabilitation, a distinction held by very few chiropractors in the United States. His practice, Chiropractic Whole Health, has proudly been serving patients since 1999. Dr. Smith's memberships include the American Chiropractic Association, the Pennsylvania Chiropractic Association, and the Christian Chiropractic Association. Welcome, Dr. Smith. It is an honor to have you on the show. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and get started with our first question. Can chiropractic help athletes improve performance or recover from injuries? Absolutely. Uh, at Chiropractic Whole Health, we treat uh, a lot of athletes uh, ranging from high school to college up to even some semi-professional athletes. Uh, and really, it's a good match because most athletes are looking for drug-free approaches that are effective and that work with the body's own natural healing power. So there are a lot of studies, numerous studies, that show improved performance in sports after receiving chiropractic treatment. That's why uh, when you're watching sports on TV, if you watch the sidelines, you'll see most professional teams have a chiropractor on staff. Uh, and just an interesting story, uh, Usain Bolt, who's the world's currently the world's fastest man, a um, couple of years ago before one of his races, he actually got adjusted by his chiropractor right before his race, uh, before he set a, a world record. Uh, so it's it's trusted by athletes uh, around the world. So and the nice thing about chiropractic is it can complement uh, medical approaches. So if an athlete is going through physical therapy or maybe they're taking medication for their condition. Uh, chiropractic treatment is not gonna interfere with other treatments uh, because it's natural, doesn't have side effects. We can work either standalone or with other uh, medical modalities. What are some common types of athletes and common sports injuries that you treat? Most of the athletes we treat are at the high school level. Uh, we have adults too that are, you know, more hobby athletes. So uh, athletes who are running, uh, maybe they're into CrossFit, maybe they're doing Spartan races or Tough Mudders, uh, sports like that. That's probably the majority of the athletes we see. Um, and it's, it's effective. We treat from head to toe. Um, so you think of uh, maybe concussions, uh, after a concussion, we can treat that. Uh, shoulder tendinosis, tendinitis, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, uh, IT bands, uh, patellar tracking disorder, sprained ankles. So it goes from head to toe. Uh, the other nice thing is that for athletes to come to us for treatment, they don't need a referral. Uh, they can basically come right off the street directly to us and we can handle the whole process from evaluating, diagnosing. We can order any tests that are needed, uh, whether it's x-rays, MRIs, labs, um, and we can do treatment from the very beginning of the injury where it's acute, uh, all the way up to athletes that have chronic problems. Say they have an injury that keeps coming back, keeps recurring. Uh, we can do functional movement assessments to see if there's a deficiency in, in patient's movement. So. Uh, we can handle all of those things. Would you say that chiropractic care is the best way to recover from a sports injury? Well, of course, I'm a little biased, um, but I, I would say yes, of course, uh, it is the best way. Um, again, we can take a patient, an athlete, from their initial injury right off the field. We can do an assessment. We can do the diagnosis. We can order tests that are needed. Uh, and there are some times when we need to refer patients out. Sometimes 
we may not be able to help someone. So we have kind of a network of other specialists, whether it's a physical therapist, orthopedic specialists, podiatrists, uh, other providers we trust. We can refer patients and athletes to other providers. Uh, or if we think we can help, then we can start treatment. And again, chiropractic really has no significant side effects to treatment. Um, and we do a lot of different treatments. Uh, most people think of chiropractors as just, just working on the spine, just doing adjustments on the spine. We do way more than that. Um, we can do kinesio taping, we can do functional movement assessments, uh, we can do modalities that you would get in physical therapy, uh, like cold laser, ultrasound, traction. Um, Dr. Bailey and I both do uh, have a lot of experience in sports and rehab. Um, Dr. Bailey working in an orthopedic physical therapy department prior to chiropractic school. I, of course, have a rehab uh, diplomate, um, so we can do all of that. And, of course, we adjust a lot more than the spine. Uh, pretty much any joint from the jaw, the shoulder, the wrist, uh, the hip, the ankle, uh, any joint can also be adjusted. So I think the way we can, we can help athletes so much is that whole package of care. It's very comprehensive from beginning to end. And we just do a lot. We have a lot of techniques we can use. How is chiropractic different from physical therapy? Chiropractic and physical therapy do have a lot of overlap. Uh, I'm, I'm colleagues with some physical therapists that I refer patients to. Uh, sometimes when I can't help them. So I know we use some of the same techniques. We use some of the same treatments, some of the same exercises. So th there is overlap. There, there are really two big differences. Um, the main difference is for a chiropractor, a patient can come directly to us. They don't need a referral or, or a script from their medical doctor to come see us. Um, we can examine, diagnose, and treat the whole, that whole progression. Um, we can order any tests we need to. We can do MRIs, uh, we can do x-rays, we can do lab work. Um, and we have a referral network of other doctors we can use if we feel that we cannot help a patient. So that's, that's probably the biggest difference from physical therapy. Uh, the other uh, difference is that we do adjustments. Uh, we do adjustments to the spine and other joints. PTs cannot do that. Um, sometimes people will try to do adjustments on themselves at home. Um, we don't advise doing that. It, it looks easier than it really is. Um, you have to be very precise and you need a lot of training and practice to do that. Um, and the adjustment can be a very powerful tool for treatment and very effective. There's tons of research showing how effective it is, but it does take a lot of training and practice. Can chiropractors treat children? And is it safe? Yes and yes. Uh, we are trained to evaluate and tr treat children, uh, even newborns. I have treated newborns. Uh, I have five children of my own, uh, and I, I treat all of them when they need it, uh, my whole family, uh, because it really helps keep them healthy and happy. Um, chiropractors use their hands a lot, so our hands are very finely tuned, um, and we can be very gentle with babies, young children, um, and it can still be very effective. Uh, so it's, that's important for people to remember with children, the treatments are a, a lot different than adults. Obviously their bodies are a little more fragile, um, so we have to be a lot more gentle. And I have found, I've been in practice for 17 years, uh, I've seen and treated hundreds of children. They respond very well to adjustments and very quickly. Uh, kids tend to get better quicker than adults. Uh, they tend not to get uh, sore after treatment like adults sometimes do. Uh, and their response sometimes is immediate. You know, I can do a treatment on a, on a child and they'll get off the table and it's immediate, uh, immediate change and immediate relief. So even young children 
enjoy coming in for treatment. Um, sometimes they know when they need to, to come in and they'll actually ask their parents uh, to come in and that's great. Is chiropractic care only for spinal problems? Uh, why or why not? Or if you could explain. Okay. Uh, chiropractic care is for total health. Uh, that's why my practice is called chiropractic whole health. Uh, that's why my tagline is uh, natural care for the whole person. So it's not just for the spine. Um, and our mentality here is that we can uh, help patients with their overall health. Um, so from, from your diet, supplements, to your sleep and your posture during sleep, um, exercise, weight loss, and, and any joint in the body, not just your spine, but your you know shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, hips, uh, any of that. Um, and I've diagnosed patients with diabetes. I've diagnosed patients with high blood pressure, thyroid disorders. Um, a couple of months ago, I uh, helped diagnose a patient with cancer. So um, it's really about treating the whole person, finding out what's really wrong. Uh, even if it's something that I can't treat myself, that I need to refer someone out for. Uh, I like to look into the patient's total health and well-being. Can chiropractic help with headaches and migraines? Headaches, that's a very personal subject for me. Um, I actually changed the direction of my education and my career choice because I was treated by a chiropractor for, for migraines that I had. Uh, I, I started getting migraines when I was about 12 years old uh, and it wasn't until I was in college, uh, my girlfriend at the time, she's, she's my wife now, uh, she convinced me to go see a chiropractor uh, for my headaches. And at the time I, I said, what's a chiropractor? I, di I didn't know what she was talking about. Um, so I, I went, I started getting treated and that completely changed, really changed my life because I went from thinking I was going to become a pediatrician to deciding I wanted to be a chiropractor. Um, so I've experienced personally uh, how chiropractic can relieve pain and improve health. Uh, so yes, chiropractors can definitely help headaches, um, anything from, from tension headaches to migraine headaches. Uh, sinus headaches um, and then you know so-called cervicogenic headaches or, or headaches that come from your neck so and and we're gonna look at patients posture their ergonomics at work uh, how they sleep what kind of sleep habits they have uh, maybe there are food triggers uh, maybe there's a problem with the eyesight maybe there's a problem with their jaw um, and of course the spine can affect uh, headaches as well. So we look at all of that when we have patients come in with headaches um, to, to really figure out what's the cause, what are things we can do, what are things the patient can do at home to make those better. Um, and then we have, you know, we have massage therapy here that can help. Uh, we will have an acupuncturist on staff uh, later this year uh, that can also help. So. There are lots of things chiropractors can do and absolutely help patients with headaches. How long is a typical treatment plan? Um, so a typical treatment plan is it's really hard to answer and um, but I'll explain. This is probably um, a stereotype a lot of people have maybe a problem they have with chiropractic is there's a concern that once you start going to a chiropractor you're gonna you're going to have to go forever. And we don't operate that way at all. So in answering that question, it really depends on how long uh, the patient has had a problem. Obviously, if you've had a, a problem with your health for a long time, it's going to take longer to get better. Uh, if it's a new problem, usually it takes less time. Um, and we really try to cooperate with the patient and get their feedback about how treatment's progressing, if it's working, if we need to do something different, if we need to change treatment, um, or if treatment's not working, maybe they need to see a different type of provider. So as, long, as far as how long treatment lasts, 
generally for most patients it's four to six weeks for, for a lot of problems uh, but again chronic problems it could be three months it could be a year um, other other problems like i mentioned with children um, they could be seen one or two times and, and be great after that so but i'd say for the vast majority of people we usually tell them expect about four to six weeks of, of care for us to to really make a difference great well that was our last question this concludes this episode of DCA TV, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Smith.